For Complex News, I'm Hanuman Welch, and I'm saying it now, Cardi B for president. Now, I know that celebrities with zero governing experience haven't really worked out for us thus far, but that's only because we keep picking inherited wealth plutocrats. Cardi is the working class hero we all need, and if the last two weeks are anything to go by, Cardi's got a better handle on which policies would actually materially impact the 99% more than most of the sitting members of Congress. And she's proven she's got the chops to drag and bury the conservative pundit class. Uh, here's a quick recap of how the last 14 days should convince detractors to keep their distance from Cardi online, and how the Bronx MC understands income inequality better than any Fox News talking head. Tommy Lauren, AKA Skim Milk Barbie, insulted Cardi B's intelligence on Twitter and it went about as well as you might expect for the outspoken conservative commenter. Looks like Cardi B is the latest genius political mind to endorse the Democrats. Ha, keep it up guys, MAGA 2020. Lauren, who is a supporter of President Donald Trump and would love to speak with the manager as soon as possible, appeared to be referencing a video that Cardi shared on social media last week, where the rapper criticized Trump and the government during the shutdown. Hey y'all, I just wanna remind y'all because it's been a little bit over three weeks, okay? It's been a little bit over three weeks. Trump is now ordering, as in summoning, federal government workers to go back to work without getting paid. Now, I don't wanna hear y'all motherfuckers talking about, oh, but Obama shut down the government for 17 days. Yeah, bitch, for healthcare. So your grandma could check her blood pressure and you bitches could go check your pussy in the gynecologist with no motherfucking problem. Now, I know a lot of y'all don't care because y'all don't work for the government or y'all probably don't even have a job, but this shit is really fucking serious, bro. This shit is crazy. Like, our, our country is in a hellhole right now. All for a fucking wall. And we really need to take this serious. We, I feel like we need to take some action. I don't know what type of action, bitch, because this is not what I do. But, bitch, I'm scared. This is crazy. And I really feel bad for these people that got to go to fucking work to not get motherfucking paid. Naturally, you've seen exactly how Cardi shut down the sour cream colored Fox News employee. Leave me alone. I will dog walk you. Lauren, who is a Fox Nation host, doubled down with a second tweet insulting the Grammy-winning rapper's intelligence, writing, quote, I'm sure you would. Still doesn't make your political rambling any less moronic. Hashtag build that wall. Charming. Cardi quickly clapped back with an insult of her own, accusing Lauren of being a sheep, someone who follows others but can't think for themselves. Cardi's response appeared to please another fellow Bronx native on Twitter, Democratic Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, who recently became the youngest woman elected to Congress in 2018. Cardi laying into one-sided GOP helm policies is nothing new. She has a clear stance on gun control. She's in favor of mental evaluations for gun purchasers. She thinks the minimum age to own a gun should be raised above 21. And she supported Bernie Sanders in the presidential primaries during the 2016 elections. And one more thing, I'm tired of people saying like, oh, if Donald Trump become president, oh my God, if he become president, stop saying that, stop visioning it, stop guessing it, because it might happen. Vote for Daddy Bernie, bitch. Y'all love fucking foreign bitches. Them hoes gonna get deported if Trump is president, ho. How Vote for Daddy Bernie should be everyone's rallying cry heading into 2020, and Cardi has spoken about the way that America is a scam, writing, quote, if there was a Republican president, the only people who benefit are the rich, rich corporation owners. Bernie returned the favor last year, tweeting, quote, Cardi B is right, after the artist praised Franklin Delano Roosevelt as the real Make America Great president for introducing Social Security, a vital public fund Cardi has been wildly outspoken about in the past. Cardi's also spoken about the US tax code, which is rare for someone who's well into her bag and has access to all of the tax loopholes and avoidances available to the wealthy. Hey, so you know the government is taking 40% of my taxes and uncle sam i want to know what you're doing with my fucking tax money because you know what i'm saying like when you donate like when you donate to a kid from a foreign country they give you updates of what they doing with your donation i want to know what you're doing with my fucking tax money because i'm from new york and the streets is always dirty we was voted the dirtiest city in america what is y'all doing there's still rats on the damn trains i know y'all not spending it in no damn prison because y'all be giving niggas like two underwears one jumpsuit for like five months so what is y'all niggas doing with my fucking money what is y'all doing with my fucking money i want to know i want receipts i want everything i want to know what y'all niggas is doing with my fucking money what is y'all niggas doing with my fucking money uncle sam i want to know what the fuck you're doing with my motherfucking money after Trump took office, Cardi questioned his lack of focus on Puerto Rico in the wake of Hurricane Maria, tweeting, quote, Puerto Rico is in crisis right now, and Donald has not yet visited or talked about it. PR is part of the USA, you know. Don't forget about the island. She's also spoken up about slavery in Libya, the president's stance on North Korea, and said she won't ever perform at the Super Bowl until Colin Kaepernick is hired again. 
But this is just things that like I really be loving and I really be doing and I'm I'm really passionate about. No, I don't think I could run for mayor. No, I don't think I could run for fucking president, you know? But um I be very aware of things that be happening. I watch the news a lot or I'm always uh on the internet researching shit. I'm always aware of shit because it's something that I love. I really, truly love. And Cardi continued to prove that she had the time as yet another Trump supporting media personality and Daily Caller writer, Stephanie Hamill, took to social media to express her confusion over Cardi and City Girl's music video for the new single, Twerk. Hamill, a Fox News host and Daily Caller video columnist, asked before she called upon leftists and Cardi B herself to provide answers. Cardi took the bait, responding, quote, it says to women that I can wear and not wear whatever I want do whatever I want, and that no still means no. So Stephanie, chime in. If I twerk and be half naked, does that mean I deserve to get raped and molested? As a follow-up, Cardi responded with, all these conservatives been harassing me and telling me the most disgusting things these past few days. Listen, I'm not telling you to turn liberal. All I'm saying is to admit that your president is fucking up this country right now. Taking all of Cardi's moves into consideration, even as far back as 2016, should we expect a 2020 run from the Invasion of Privacy MC? Probably not, but still, it's refreshing to see that one of the biggest stars in hip hop uses their platform to address things like income inequality, the Trump administration's xenophobic obsession with building the wall, and putting tax dollars to work rebuilding crumbling infrastructure across the country. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for now. For everything else, subscribe to Complex on YouTube. For Complex News, I'm Hanuman Welch.